Let's abandon ships that can't be explained. Whether you're new or you've been around for a while, take a moment to subscribe to our channel. Once you've done that, click on that gray bell, which will let you know the moment we upload a new video. Mary Celeste The Mary Celeste was abandoned back in 1872, and the reasoning behind her abandonment is spooky at best. When the ship was spotted off the coast of the Atlantic Ocean, the ship still had six months worth of food and its contents were untouched, except for being a little wet. This meant that piracy was likely off the table. The crew was nowhere to be seen and no ships reported anyone lost at sea or dead bodies afloat. SS Bechimo The story of the SS Bechimo is truly a chilling tale to behold. The SS Bechimo was used to trade pelts with Inuit settlements off the coast of northern Canada so cold and harsh conditions were a given. On October 8, 1931, the 230-foot cargo ship got stuck a week after being free of icy conditions. Some of the crew left to get help while 50 men stayed and lived in a wooden shelter they had built. Then, on November 24, a blizzard struck and the ship disappeared, assumed to have sunken. But then, the Bechimo reappeared again 45 miles away. Decades later, people were seeing sightings of the Bechimo, which continuously seemed to survive harsh conditions. The last sighting of the Bechimo was in 1969 off the Alaskan coast. Did it finally sink? Demetrios On the beaches of Yithio, Greece, the Demetrios shipwreck stands proud. Built in 1950, the 220-foot cargo ship has unknown origins but was believed to have smuggled cigarettes between Turkey and Italy and was set on fire to hide the evidence when caught by authorities. The ship docked in 1980 when the captain was dealing with severe health issues. Followed by financial concerns with the crew, the ship never did go back out to sea. Today, it is a popular tourist attraction. Cause 2 in April 2007, three men embarked on a boat trip along the coast of Australia. But three days later, the COS-2 was found drifting along the water toward the Great Barrier Reef. Everything was still in its place. There was even an open laptop on the table, and the life jackets were hanging on their hooks. But the men were missing. There was no trace of them at all. People have speculated that maybe they were abducted by aliens, or more realistically, one of the men fell overboard and the other two tried to save him, but instead drowned in the choppy waters. Six. The High Aim 6 was spotted without a crew off the coast of Australia in 2003. The Taiwanese ship held rotting fish, along with the belongings of its crew, plus fuel and provisions. After investigations, forensics found no sign of struggle. The cell phone of the ship's missing engineer was still receiving calls from Indonesia as well. One crew member was supposedly tracked down, and they claimed that the captain was murdered along with the engineer, and the crew just packed up and went back home. MV Hoita the MV Hoita was considered to be unsinkable, but that didn't stop it from going missing in 1955. About five weeks later, the Hoita was found partially submerged, all of its cargo missing, lifeboats were gone, and nothing was left but bloodied bandages. The passengers were never located, and it was believed that the captain may have gotten killed or injured. So the passengers and crew abandoned ship with the lifeboats and perhaps got lost at sea. Carol A. Deering in January of 1921, the Carol A. Deering was found on the coast of Hatteras Diamond Shoals, North Carolina. The sails were up and it had looked like a meal was about to be prepared, but there was no sign of the 11 crew members who were on board. Life rafts were gone, logbooks, emergency supplies, and the navigational equipment all gone. The ship stayed on the shore until March of the same year when it was blown to pieces. In April of 1921, a man named Christopher Columbus Gray claimed to have found a note in a bottle depicting that the crew was taken by pirates. But the FBI concluded that Gray wrote the note himself. The crew was never found and their disappearance remains a mystery. World Discoverer Built in 1974 in Germany, the World Discoverer calls the Solomon Islands Roderick Bay its home and final resting place. 
After striking a reef in 2000, the 287-foot-long boat was abandoned and has stayed in its location ever since. It has become a tourist attraction of its own, even though locals are begging the government to get rid of it. Since the ship is so close to the shore, it is also vulnerable to regular lootings. The Ghost Fleet Located in Susun Bay, California, the Ghost Fleet is a graveyard of former military ships that are in their current resting place, waiting for reactivation or waiting to be mothballed. Not much is known about each ship, but given that a decent amount of them date back to World War II, they all have an interesting story to tell. SS American Star Launched in 1940, the SS American Star was one of the nicest ocean liners in the world. In 1994, it ran aground and was wrecked just off the Canary Islands. The ship was going to be scraped for metal, but the buyer's banks declined the transaction and the SS American Star found a second life as a floating hotel. But before the ribbon could be cut, the line that was towing the American Star broke during a storm and the ship was destroyed on a reef off the coast of Fuerteventura, where she still stands today.